This is the Hummingbird. This is the Gen 2 Hummingbird by Foam Propulsion Designs, previously known as Ansulages. The Hummingbird, I think, is the best CQV platform. The, the original Hummingbird was nice because it has a vector feel. It's pretty compact, but the original one was pretty bulky and boxy and chunky, and it wasn't very ergonomic, but this one is really sleek. The Hummingbird is full auto, solenoid powered with a single trigger. So solenoid means it's got really fast response and it's has a cool feel when you fire it. And it's lipo powered, full auto only. It's cool because he's the first one that I know of who's done a auto sear, meaning with a normal solenoid, you can get full auto, and then usually a solenoid is made for a semi-auto setup. It has a buffer tube stock, so you can put on any butt plate you have. I've got this one, uh, cheap, broken, dirty, but it works. You can adjust that forever you like. It has a really slim platform, so it's good for turning corners, clearing room, CQB, and if you want, you can you know, clasp the stock to get even more, or you could take the entire stock buffer tube off by just these two pins on the back. So the whole thing is built with mostly pins and just a couple of screws. The Hummingbird is a full auto platform. It uses angled worker magazines. It has an ambidextrous mag release, so on either side. has plenty of rail on either side. The battery compartment is toolless. By taking off this four grip here, you access your battery compartment, which is super quick and easy. It has a buffer tube stock, so you can use any butt plate that you might have. Uh, this is like a cheap uh, Milsig one, Adventure Force or Worker, they all work. It has multiple adjustment points. This grip is printed, but you can use any real steel grip for any ergonomics, which is really nice, so it feels really nice. And it is full auto solenoid driven. Which is really nice. So it's designed to be a kind of like a CQB room clearing blaster, so um, it has a lot of potential for maneuverability. You can take off the stock just with these two pins if you want to make it even more compact. Now it's a SMG pistol. So it's got a really high rate of fire, um, but with a single trigger pull, you can get two or three rounds off at a time. Yeah, two or three round bursts, which is really perfect for that CQB clearing rooms and corners. Um, that burst feature is really nice for that. So it's really good offering in the, the line of fully auto blasters. The only full auto blasters really are the Lepus, which you can see has a different profile. You know, it's more of a pistol. The Woozy, which is kind of like a pseudo primary. Um, you can see the size difference between the Hummingbird. So it doesn't have a stock. We can put a stock on it, but it's a uh, Uzi form. Makes it more kind of like a pistol kind of class. And of course, all popular is the Quick, which is high rate of fire, but again, pistol. The Hummingbird is great because it is very small, high rate of fire, but it has a stock, meaning your placement shot to shot is gonna be very consistent. You're gonna be very maneuverable and able to have both a lightweight, high rate of fire platform, but also a really stable platform, unlike the, the Lepus, which is mainly just small running around. This one you can run around, but also hold your own ground. It can hold the Talon magazine, so we have our 10 round. and our 18 round Talon mags. So you would pull the lever towards you and drop it out. Um, also, the default, you could just rip it out as well for that super fast mag change. The Hummingbird uses a 3S LiPo, and if you get it from us, it'll come with an XT30 uh, connection that you can then use an adapter, similar to the Nightingale that we sell. So you can use a Lepus battery. This one's wired for JST. And you've got plenty of rail for your attachments or boopers, whatever you want to do, your, your red dots. It's a great platform um, and it's really solid with that solenoid, it's very satisfying. Shout out to Foam Proportion Designs or Ansulages for the design and giving us licensing to sell it. For uh, Eli Wu for designing the solenoid and Out of Darts for getting those manufactured and supplying those. And of course you've got the uh, Kepler wheels from Kuri Kuriaki makes things 
and you have uh, out of darts cracking motors for your 150 setup. Different wheels and different motors, of course, can give you different performance. This one hits about 150, 160 out of the box, and we can turn it down from there. Or you could get, you know, band blasters cage for higher performance. But for CQB, this is this is perfect. I really, really like the Hummingbird. It's probably my, my, my new go-to indoor. Um, the rate of fire is a bit high for me personally, but that's kind of the point of full auto. It's very accurate for a flywheeler. Um, because of the, the wheels combo and the guide that's built into it. It's very snappy. You can fire it with hardly any rev. That's way fun.